The House Builder, included in the R16 Condor browser, is a great tool that allows us to build 3D houses really fast. Let's see how the tool works. By default, the preset comes with a rectangular shape, but of course we can use uh, our own shape. All we need to do after that is to just drag the shape into the House Builder null. Now that we have our basic shape ready, we can start building the rooms. If we're not satisfied with the shape, we can just move around the points to get the desired result. If the points are not visible, we can enable X-Ray, and now we have a clearer picture of the base shape. Alternatively, we can switch between the Mesh and Blueprint mode, and when we're done, re-enable the walls. There are also snapping options available to uh, help us align our points. Now that our basic shape is finalized, we can start building the walls for our house. To do that, we select the tool knife command and start cutting our surface. To move things around, we can either move the points or the edges. If we want to get rid of some walls, we just select the edge we want to get rid of and then press the merge room command. Now let's start defining our spaces a little bit more. We can either define the spaces we already have or start creating holes for our windows and doors. As you can see here, if I press on the Create Room Styles button, a new null is created with all their rooms. What we can do now is name our rooms and apply specific materials to them. We have several ways to do that. One way is to create materials and assign them to a specific null. So let's see how this works. Let's create two materials, one for the floor and one for the wall. Now that we have the materials ready, we just drag them into the right room and assign them to a specific selection. So for the walls, we can just type wall inside or WI, and for the floor, either floor or F. You don't have to remember these selection names though. You can always check the instructions that come along with the tool in the annotation tag. Another way to do this is to select one of the presets provided with the browser. So with the room selected, we just double click on the room preset we like the most. But of course, we can create our own presets. To do that, we just select the custom style file. This will load up a scene where we can adjust every material to our liking. Once we're satisfied with the result, we can save it to the browser and access it again whenever necessary. So what we do now is create a new preset library and drag our new preset there. Now to create holes for the windows and doors, we just drag splines into the null named holes for doors and windows. You don't have to do those things in a specific order. You can either create these spaces for the windows and the doors, and then apply the materials. Uh, you can just choose whatever you want the most. On top of these options, we have another option for floor molding. We can either enable or disable it, and also make further adjustments. If we also want to concentrate on a specific room, we can select it and hit the solo button. Now that we know how the tool works, let's play around with a more traditional house shape. We start by just loading up a floor plan on the top view. We quickly trace the shape with the polygon pen and then refine the shape by aligning the points. Now, with the knife tool, we start adding our walls and deleting the ones we don't need.
by just adding splines, we can quickly add the spaces for our windows and doors. And that's all there is to it. It takes just a few minutes to master, and in no time at all, we have a layout of a house ready for our visualizations.